Two things. Uh, if you hear any weird noises in the background of my speech here, that's because uh, people are here uh, redoing the shingles on our house. So, yeah, you just if you hear that, or sun, boom, that's what you know. Uh, secondly, uh, just announcing what I'm doing, uh, you're going to see a bunch of Half-Life Deathmatch custom maps on here. Still not taking a request. Not until I'm done 3-Wave and I get Hunted recorded finally. Soon, though. Um, why am I doing a bunch of Half-Life Deathmatch maps? Frankly, I need the views. My views are down, actually, because, you know, people don't really give a shit about Deathmatch Classic. Go figure. Um, so anyway, Crossfire Emperors is, um, on some one hand, you know, a pretty obvious choice for a first custom map, but also not really, because you're first gonna look at this and think, well, why would you cover, basically, a map you've already done? The thing is, uh, this is basically, like, uber crossfire like they took a like everything that was great about crossfire and just multiplied it i think this is one of the best half-life maps i've ever played um i would rather play this over the original crossfire not to you know diss shit on dario casali but you know you know is people can take something that you've done and like see the what was good because that was basically a pretty good map as it is and like iterate on it and that's basically what happened this isn't gonna be the only crossfire iteration map i do in the net like shortly like, in the next little bit, but this is, um, this is, that one, I'm getting ahead of myself, that one is more of a reinvention of Crossfire, this is more of an expansion. So, yeah, anyway, uh, here is, uh, Crossfire Emperors by E.T. Nick, um, and here are the people who tested it, Baba V. Kadax, um, I'm not reading that clan name, Devastator, Dan Li Dantist? Dantist, I thought it was Dan List, but I'm an idiot. Uh, and Jexus, or Yexus, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. Uh, not really much information. I, I don't know if that website's still up. Probably not. But yeah, anyway. The map itself is uh, dated April 28th, 2013. So yeah, people were like, just like with that opposing force map, we did Warzone. People were doing maps long after this. And I'm sure I'm going to be playing maps that were made well after even this one was made. So yeah, it just goes to show this uh, Half-Life Deathmatch is not going anywhere. I know there's a ton of people that still play this. So uh, yeah, let's check out Crossfire here. I'm sorry, Crossfire Emperors. So yeah, the one thing I really don't like about this map, the one big flaw I have with it that Crossfire didn't have, uh, this daytime lighting kind of sucks. Like, y you see this, right? It's just way too dark. The it's weird because the inside lighting is fine, so I don't know if um, Nit or I already forget his name, the author just didn't bother putting like lights outside. Which, you know, I'm not going to hate them for that, but you know, it, it does look a little bit shit. So this might look similar right away. This might look just like Crossfire. But the more I, I kind of show off everything, like right away you can see there's actually way more crossbows for one thing. Uh, there's like two here. Uh, but the more we go into this map, the more you're going to notice that it's not quite what it appears. So anyway, I'm just going to go through it methodically. I'm probably going to be re, like covering a lot of what I covered in Crossfire, but that's kind of inevitable. So yeah, you got this building here. Grab the SMG, grab the Snarks, good. Uh, here's a new thing immediately. This whole order is new, so yeah, you're going to get tell right away. That this isn't quite the same cross your daddy's crossfire. Definitely want to grab the revolver and another crossbow. Because it goes without saying that those weapons are stupid useful in this map. Uh, you got an elevator here if you fall down and you need to get back up. We'll talk about the lower areas a bit. I'm going to try to stick to the tops for now. You can come out here, grab the gauze. It's good stuff. You know, there's a little, little thing. I'm guessing, I think that's the clan, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, you can already tell right away that this little entrance to the other buildings wasn't here really like this beforehand. So we'll talk about this area, nor is this area the same. I think you might already be able to tell things are different. But anyway, grab the ammo, grab the weapons, grab the gauze. Super, stupid helpful. Gauze is always helpful, but in this map, as you're going to find out, it actually is a necessity. Uh, we'll get into why in a bit, though. So like I said, I'm going to stick to the top for now. Come this way. And yeah, grab another crossbow. If you haven't already, like, you know, made yourself a custom. Mouse is going to act up, even though I've watched my cross... Both the mouse pad and the goddamn mouse ball. So that's cool. Grab a rocket launcher. Always fun time. Grab that there. Charge rammer. You can take an elevator up. Or you can just be a cool Chad. Cool cat and do that. And yeah, you get over this building here. And now, you know, some more helpful, like, supplies. You can get into this building straight from here. Uh, yeah, you can already tell. Just looking at that. That's the first big real difference there. Well, there's already some difference. You can get up here with the elevator. So that's cool. That's fine. You throw it, you see when I'm dugging down, this isn't quite your, quite the same thing. I think I've already figured that out by now. Grab the rocket launcher, that's still the same. Tunnel's still the same. Um, but, but, the thing is, this lower area is not the same by any means. Well, this room is, because I'm a fucking idiot. You can still grab the, uh, charger here. That's good. Uh, you grab another gauze. The long jump is actually here now. 
There's two long jumps, if I remember, in this map now. Yeah, there it is. It's been moved slightly. The secret room is actually... I haven't checked to see if the secret room is still there. I might do that real quick. And yeah, here you go. One of the big differences is that this corridor did not exist in the original. So you have yet another way to get into the uh, courtyard area, which itself is radically different in a lot of ways. And yeah, here we go. Another big difference here. You're going to see right away. I didn't know this existed. I literally just discovered something. That's the secret room. See? Holy shit. So you can come up here to get some gauze and a bunch of ammo. And here you go. I, I did not know this room existed, and I just found out. I swear to God. Map modified by, yeah, KH93B here, so I guess they changed their name. This might... Testers, Devastate... Ooh, some different people I don't remember. Baba and Kid. Yeah, these people. Check them out. They're cool. They're nice. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah, this... Not only was that, not, like, you know, not there, like, you know, that... I don't even know if that's a secret room that was originally here. I'll still check that out. But, yeah, cool. There's a little Easter egg. This room is entirely new. A whole bunch of supplies... Leading to this area with this HEV and this ladder so you can get up to this area, uh, which is um, the mid-tier. We'll talk about the mid-tier after because this map is just really complicated and I'm already getting lost because I'm an idiot. So you can come out this way. I can hear the snarks going. I always want to be careful for that. That's about it for the low tier, actually. So let's go and hang out with the mid-tier. Mid-tier is going to be pretty fun, I I'm already imagining. Yet another crossbow with some, like, you know, you can lay some devious traps there, which I'm probably about to activate because I'm an idiot. Yeah, thanks! Um, anyway, well, we're not too far away from where we were. Um, I don't know if the bots know about this. Then again, I hadn't actually been in here, so I don't know if I built the waypoints up here. Who's to say? Anyway, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah, up here. So, yeah, that, that was this mid-tier. Here's this mid-tier area that leads into the, uh, elevator and the other crossbow, like, you know, not crossbow, the courtyard that doesn't have the helipad. Um, you probably already can see some more differences there. Uh, check that out if you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Uh, you can come this way now, and this leads also to the court, like that court area. Unlike in the original map where there was two kind of like little incloves here, th they're all gone now. I think. I'm an inkling. That almost looks like. Probably not. Yeah. Okay. That's just some graphical weirdies. But at least you got a shotgun to like you know soothe the sore throat you have that you just developed because I said you just developed it. Almost got zapped there. This room's entirely the same. You can get the. The, uh, hive high end if you want, and this leads into that one, um, the one kind of lower area we started in, so that's cool. Fun time guaranteed for all. Um, not gonna talk about this yet, because you can see that, like, your neurons are activating just looking at that. You got this room with a fuck ton of explosives to grab, so yeah, keep that in mind. This is just over the, uh, one supply area, too, so yeah, you definitely want to hold the back of this map. You also grab the rocket launcher, take that up to that other area we were just looking at. While my mouse decides it just wants to lock in place for some reason. I really don't know what the hell this thing's problem is with lately. Yeah, you get another gauze. Are you seeing you can uh, like a pattern that there's a lot of gauze and crossbows on this map? I'm sure you have. So that's about it. So let's go back to that super secret cool ladder over here. And you're going to see why this map is not totally like, you know, entirely different beast from the original. Because the entire perimeter is now walkable. Yeah. And not only that, you can actually go on the buildings too. And, like, rain death from above. So, yeah, this is just entirely something else now. You can't even classify it as just, like, an, like a remix of the original now. Because now I feel like it's just, like, you know, you have a brand new map that was just based off of Crossfire. And that's why I think it's actually a better map, too. It gives you so many more options. I still don't think it works for more than maybe 12 people because it's just there's so many strong weapons. But I would say on a 32-player server that this would work far better. I may, may have played this. I'm gonna just say, I may have played this one. I'm not saying I have. And yeah, the ledges actually go all the way over to this area. So you can actually, yet another way to get into the cross, like, uh, crossfire, sorry. Uh, helipad area. So let's talk about this area a little bit now. Uh, you can actually get up to this area from the slope like you used to be. Like, as you can see, the slope's been rearranged. There's more windows now. So it's not, this is definitely not the same as it originally was. Um, I believe there's a long jump up here, but I could be wrong. I've only played this, like, map recently. I, again, even assuming I ever played it beforehand. More snarks, though, so that's always a good time if you want to be a dick. Um, as you can see now, uh, you can't get in, you can't climb up these towers like you used to be able to. If my mouse doesn't fuck me up here, you can actually get in here. And you can climb up to them now. You have to go from the inside to grab, uh, no more, um, cannons or, like, whatever they were called beforehand. Uh, but now crossbows. 
Uh, you can also just like, you know, you want it. That's why I brought up earlier. You want the gauze so much because there's so much verticality to this map now that it's absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, let's go. So you can go in here still. Uh, instead of four health chargers, it's two health chargers plus two HEV units, which is really nice. Nice and some more variety. Get yourself healed up here. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing that considering I don't, I'm not actually going to fight anyone until, you know, I actually talk about the map proper. These ones still go way high. The chargers, not so much, but these ones do. And yeah, it's just a bunch of ammo. So the um, entire back area here was cut off. Uh, there is no more airstrike or anything like that, which is a mixed thing, I suppose. I personally am not butt hurt by that by any means, but you know, some people that actually like that idea of like activating it and causing problems might be hurt. But I think that works better because this makes it like the reward for getting here more so supplies and like, you know, a chance to hold yourself up and like kind of control by sniping uh, versus, you know, just whatever it was beforehand. So, you know, actual more fighting. So, I mean, the map, let's be honest, the map was already focused on the center here area, even on the original one. This is where you'd spend most of your time, honestly, originally. So, it only makes sense to keep the focus over here. Oh, uh, yeah. Crossfire Emperors. It, it's, it is a good map, I think. I'm not sure why it's called Emperors, though. You know, it's not a bad name, but I personally would have went with, like, I don't know, Crossfire Big? Crossfire Expanded? I would say advanced crossfires, but you literally the next map, the crossfire map I alluded to earlier is called advanced crossfire. Though that's not actually advanced crossfire because again, not without even getting into that, it's basically a whole new thing just built off some of the ethos of crossfire. But again, we're just going way off topic. Let's not talk about crossfire names. Crossfire, crossfire. The really crappy thing about this kind of hang area here is that there's no weapons. I mean, it, it, it does help you sneak around and get to more weapons because you can actually jump into the windows and stuff like that. But personally, I would have given the player some more options up there. No Egon, by the way. I don't know what the hell is pro people's problem with, like, the Egon. You notice that? Like, you know, first opposing force wanted nothing to do with the... Um, nice kill, by the way. Um, first, the oppos opposing force wanted nothing to do with the uh, Egon at all. There's, like, one map with it. And then this comes around, and, like, I swear every... Every custom map I've tested so far... Like, you know, that we're going to talk about on the queue has no Egon. And maybe it's because people don't like it. Like, people think it's annoying or something or just don't find it useful. But I still find even, like, you know, the the creator of this map kept the goddamn hive hand where it was. And, like, so why not keep the Egon, too? But then again, I actually can't remember if Crossfire itself had an Egon. It did! It did! I swear in one of the, like... That grenade had, like, the biggest, like, blast radius of all time. That was bigger than Chernobyl. I got a triple kill there, plus killing myself. Unreal. Anyway, I don't know if... I think... I swear that, um... Original Crossfire had an Egon somewhere in it. That's weird. Also, that's some weird lighting. You see that? It's like the light from down there is seeping in through the ground. Obviously, that's probably not the map designer's fault. No, this was the secret room, wasn't it? Was this where the secret room was? I actually forgot to check. I'm pretty sure it was here, and they just actually t went and... Expand it with this downstairs area here, which to be fair that makes a lot of sense if you're gonna like, you know, open it up more Fools don't know how to climb ladders. I'm sure the bots could learn actually, but oh well Then again, I have waypoint generation turned off when I do uh, record the uh Videos just like to keep overhead low not that my computer needs a you know, the processing power because it's a freaking i9 12th gen, but you know, still, it just, you know, old habits die hard. Not even my old CPU really needed that. It was an in, like a fourth generation i7, but you know, but I'd rather keep everything, you know, as streamlined as possible. I, that's the wrong word for that. As, um, brought down, um, minimized. I actually don't know. I don't know English anymore. Please kill me. You fool! Yes, it actually took me that long to line up that shot. Please sue me. Oh, I wanted to, If I had, like, you know, did some sort of weird-ass triple, like, quadruple kill there through, like, four people, oh my god, I would totally go and tell no one because no one cares. Oh! What is it with me in multiple kills today? Did you see that, like, wizard headshot? Or shotgun shell or blaster? I don't know. No, no, you don't! No, you don't! No, you don't! No, you don't! Cool. Yeah, Crossfire Emperors. Uh, top tier map. Better than the original. Totally get this one.